If you've ever wished that Blender was faster or more stable while it was rendering, this is the video for you. Command line rendering is a process where we can tell Blender to render out an image in the background without opening up any of this graphical user interface. It's faster because it uses less of your computer's resources and it's more stable. People think this is complicated, but it's super easy and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. We've got Blender open, so let's get started. So let's say that the image I want to render out is just this cube with the light, okay? The first thing you're going to want to do is figure out where to save all this stuff. What I like to do is just make a new folder and I'm going to call this output and just leave it on the desktop. Let's just get the name of this and copy and paste it. Go back into Blender and you're going to want to set up your render settings, okay? So I'm going to render this out in AV with some ambient occlusion. The next thing you want to do, once you've made sure that all your resolution and your samples and everything are all right, you're going to pick an output folder. I'm going to put this in the same folder I've just created and I'm going to call the render image. Once you're happy with all your render settings and you've set your output file, you're going to want to save the blender file. So I'm going to go to file, save as, let's save it in the same place, output, let's call this save.blend. Okay, once you've saved, you can close Blender, we don't need it anymore. The next thing we're going to want to do is find out where we've got Blender saved on our computer. The easiest way to do that is to just do a search for Blender, right click, open file location, and we can just copy this here. You can see that's blender.exe there. So we can copy the location of this where it's saved on our hard drive. Next thing up, we need to get the command prompt up. So we do that by again, typing CMD and enter. And this is the command line. By default, it's gonna be searching just inside users slash rob or whatever your username is. So to make it search inside the Blender folder, we need to type CD space, and then if we paste in the name of where we've got Blender saved and press enter, you can now see that it's now searching inside that file. So for instance, if we were to type blender.exe and enter, it would look inside that folder we were just in, and it would launch the file called blender.exe, which will obviously open Blender. Right, so we don't need it to do that though. What we need to do is tell it to render out in the background. So the way we do that is we type blender.exe space dash b, which will tell it to render out a file in the background. And then you need to tell it, okay, which file do you want to render? So you need to get the name of this. And to do that, we're gonna right click on the file, on the save file. If we go to security, I'll have an object name. And that's what we need to paste in. So if we just grab this, and paste that in. Then we need to tell it which frame to render out. So what we're gonna do is put another space, dash F for frame, space, and let's do frame one. Press enter, and it'll start to render out our image. So that's how you do a single frame, and you can see there it's nice and fast. If you want to do an animation, it's a very similar process. You type out the same thing, and instead of typing it all out again, I'm just gonna press up, and it'll copy what I've just typed. But instead of um, putting dash F and then the frame number, you put dash S for start, space, and then whatever frame you want to start on, let's do from one again. And then you do dash E after a space for end. Do another space and then type the frame number. Um, let's do 25 frames. And then finally, we need to tell it that it's an animation. So we just go dash A. So that'll do the same thing, but it'll start on frame one, end on frame 25, and it's an animation. Press enter, and it should render out 25 frames. It'll be 25 frames of the same thing, because it isn't an animation, but that'll render out all those frames. And like you can see, this is nice and fast. If you have a very complex scene, if you have something that takes up a lot of RAM on your computer, then this is gonna be a big, big time saver here, guys. You get all these nice renders up and it works a treat. I use this all the time for any big scenes that I do. If you like this video, 
please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. We have a lot of great content coming on procedural textures, on how you can speed up render times in other ways. I have all sorts of stuff coming, guys. See you for the next video. Hope you like this one.